I now give the floor to the distinguished representative of International Institute for Democracy and Electoral Assistance. Thank you, Madam President. Excellencies, International IDEA fully supports the efforts of the Special Envoy and her office in furthering steps to a solution of the crisis in Myanmar that was triggered by the military's un unconstitutional coup in February of 2021 and that has been exacerbated by the military junta's persistent illegitimate claims to, the, to rule the country by force. The United Nations and human rights organizations have highlighted the dramatic deteriorating human rights situation of the Rohingya community remaining in Myanmar, where they are subjected to crimes against humanity by the military forces, increased restrictions on freedom of movement by the illegal State Administration Council, and lack of access to adequate food, healthcare, livelihoods, and education. According to recent reports from Human Rights Watch and Amnesty International, the current situation also prevents the voluntary repatriation to Myanmar of Rohingya refugees in Bangladesh. The only future of the Rohingya in line with the values and principles of the United Nations is their full return and reintegration to their homes. This is outlined in the commitments made by the Myanmar's legitimate interim institutions based on the Federal Democratic Charter. These commitments should be welcomed by the international community, but also require support, in particular by strengthening efforts of building a genuine democratic federal system in Myanmar. It is encouraging that member states are increasingly recognizing the need to build a stable democratic federal union in Myanmar in the country. As International IDEA stated last year, it is clear that the suffering of the Rohingya community will only end with the restoration of genuine democracy and peace based on justice in Myanmar. Lasting peace and stability will only return once fully representative and accountable institutions are restored, and once the Rohingya can fully participate in public affairs at the local, state, and federal level in dignity. The Rohingya community itself must be supported in their efforts to create institutional structures, such as the emerging Rohingya Consultative Committee, while ensuring that they are indeed inclusive and representative and can build capacities to enable them to participate in the interim institutions currently discussing Myanmar's future constitution and federal system. The situation of the Rohingya demonstrates clearly the intrinsic linkages between democracy human rights, non-discrimination, peace, and development. This comprehensive and long-term responses are needed. The military junta has repeatedly tried to instrumentalize anti-Rohingya religious and racist prejudice. With every month of prolonging the junta's hold on power, the chances of the, the Rohingyas' dignified return and reintegration slip further away. Restoring democracy, alone would not open the possibility on its own, but by no means a guarantee for that. Any credible democratic election must ensure the full participation of Rohingya citizens. International IDEA will continue to work with both the interim institutions, such as NUG, CRPH, and the NUCC, and its member organizations, as well as with the Rohingya themselves, to share comparative knowledge and promotes the values of inclusion and diversity in Myanmar. I thank you. I thank the distinguished representative of International Institute for Democracy and Electoral Assistance.